I've got a challenge question for you. What is a particle? Give your ideas in the comments. In classical physics, a particle is seen like a tiny little marble. Or even a point. In quantum mechanics, it's seen like a localized fluctuation of a quantum field, a little bit like if you had a localized wave on the surface of a lake. I like to see particles in a different way. How do we separate different particles, different types of particles from each other? By the way they behave with their environment, right? I.e. because of their properties. Why wouldn't we consider a particle like just being the properties themselves? It doesn't need to be something physical, just numbers associated with a region of space. So this set of mathematical concepts in a tiny region of space would be the particle. Now these properties are expressed in quantum mechanics with quantum numbers. There are many of them. Spin, baryon number, lepton number, topness, charness, strangeness, lepton number, isospin, lots of different numbers which correspond to the properties of a specific particle. In high school physics, you just need to know four of them. The baryon number, the lepton number, the strangeness, and the charge. So let's look at these. Consider a particle X. X will have these four properties, these four quantum numbers. There will be the charge, Q, the baryon number B, the lepton number L, and what we call the strangeness S. Let's look at these quantum numbers by example. Let's pick up the, the up quark. The up quark has got a charge of two thirds the elementary charge, so two-thirds of E, so two-thirds by 1.6, 10 minus 19 Coulomb. When we write the number here, we assume it's two-thirds of E, so we don't need to write E. Is an up quark a baryon? No. But if you take three up quarks, you could get a baryon. So an up quark is a third of a baryon. The baryon number is one-third. Is the up quark a lepton? No. Is the up quark a strange quark? No. Let's consider now the strange quark. It has a charge, minus one third of the elementary charge. It is a third of a baryon, but it's not a lepton. A strange quark has got a strange quark character. It's a strange quark. So its strangeness is minus one. Let's consider now the electron. An electron has got a charge of minus one, but it's not a baryon. On the other hand, it is a lepton, so the lepton number is one. It's not a strange quark, so it doesn't have any strangeness. Let's consider the neutrino. The neutrino, well, has no charge, it's neutral. Neutrino means small little neutral. In Italian. Um, it is not a baryon, but it is a lepton. It's not a strange quark, so it's got a strangeness of zero. As we discussed earlier, all fermions have got counterparts as antimatter particles. So let's consider the anti-up. The anti-up would have a charge of minus two-thirds, a baryon number of minus one-third, and these numbers stay zero. For the strange, the charge would be for the anti-strange, the charge will be plus one-third, minus one-third for the baryon number, and plus one for the strangeness. For the anti-electron or the positron, charge of plus one, lepton number of minus one. And for the anti-neutrino, all this stays at zero, except for the lepton number, which becomes minus one. Quantum numbers can also be assigned to hadrons. Yes, the quantum numbers of the hadrons will actually be the sum of the quantum numbers of the constituent quarks. Let's consider, for example, the proton, which is up, up, down. 
The charge of the up is two thirds and the down minus one third, giving you two thirds plus two thirds minus one third is just one. Yeah, we actually knew that the protons had a charge of plus one. The proton is a baryon, so it would be one here, and it works. One third plus one third plus one third is one. The proton is a lepton? No, and it doesn't have any leptons inside it, so it has a lepton number of zero. Does it have strangeness? No, because it doesn't have any strange quarks in it, so a strangeness of zero. If I consider the antiproton, which is an antibaryon, then we'll just flip the numbers. Minus two third, minus two third, plus one third is minus one, and each of these antiquarks have got a baryon number of minus one third, giving you minus one. Let's consider a maison now. Um, let's take a cow, for example, which, uh, let's take this one, up anti strange. What would be the charge? Two thirds minus minus one third. So it's one. So it would be a K plus, actually. Um, then the binary number, well, you see you've got a quark and an anti-quark, so it gives you a third minus one third, so zero. It's not a baryon. Lepton number, zero. Strangeness, ah, yeah, there's a strange quark. And here, because it's an anti-strange, the strangeness number will be plus one. <laughs>